tried to block right out everyone else. <laughs> well played, Quick Shot. Just make sure no one's going to shut him down. Perfect. Just grab the Australians. We're going to be fine. But we are in the Champions we Select. Oh, thank goodness. In fact, Jad helped Chopper play that particular champion, Ivern. Ivern in the game against me, and it was disgusting. He took all of my camps. I had a horrible time, so thank God it's been. I can kind of see a theme with the band here, taking a lot of the <laughs> simpler champions that are quite powerful. I mean, Katarina's maybe not on that list, but certainly Alistar and Cho'Gath fit the bill there as well. So I think it's going to be difficult no matter what, as Elise is the final band from Team Ice. Elise is an interesting one. I wouldn't opt into playing Elise ever. I mean, there's all sorts of targeted abilities, skill shots. You have to try it's full. <laughs> another set of them. I just want to point this out. Ivern, Cho'Gath, Elise, Team Ice spelling ice. Uh. That is what it's all about. <laughs> so Working let's not even there. care. I like that. That's no. fair enough. Uh, team Fire misspelled AFK. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> in the wrong order, but we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, <laughs> let it slip. we'll let it slip. Well, we'll see what the first pick is here. Of course, you imagine people who are swapping around. I don't believe oh, that's interesting. Lanes, but By the way, that was just interesting. It looks like on Xmithy's side, it's actually Miffy wielding the mouse and Xpeke on keyboard. But it's been Peke who actually has had better mechanics at this tournament <laughs> than Mithy. So I want to see how that works out as well. Well, we actually heard in the, the bump in that, you know, the keyboard is where you put all of your, your mechanics, interestingly <laughs> enough. Like, I, I don't necessarily agree with that. I feel like in order to kite effectively with skill shots, you do need to just have that guy waiting when to press the button. And it's a little bit easier, but... Oh, there's the hover. Mad Celeb Life. Mad Life. Life. It is. <laughs> oh, my God. Celebrity's got his work cut out for him today. I wonder who's wielding what half of that equation <laughs> as far as keyboard on mouse goes. But I do like the Uzi. I mean, both Reckless and Uzi have been very uh, confident and outspoken in the event, being like, you know, it is fun, but we are, you know, proud players. We do want to yep. win. I think both of them are, love this big, powerful AD carry. Like, Twitch, let's see if they can perform on it. As Bebe Love clearly has been playing it all the time. He's going <laughs> to get back to Rengar again. Oh, God, and Bebe as well. I mean, in the Eddie carry position, you don't play all that much Rengar, but I'm sure it's not that difficult. Oh, my That's word. Oh, okay, Maple and Casa are going to lock in Cassiopeia. <laughs> okay, yeah, fair enough. At Have this, fun. You said it yourself, right? Skill shots are slightly easier because you can wait for the mouse to line up and then push yep. the button. Targeted Twin Fangs, mm -hmm. Kappa playing Cassio. This is either going to go full Kappa or be <laughs> fully OP. We're about to find I out. I feel like at least once you hit the poison, you just sit there mashing the E button until it breaks. <laughs> well, and hope the, you're in range. On the bright side, whoever is so wielding... So many minions are going to die. Whoever is wielding the mouse will just stop issuing move commands. Just hover <laughs> on the target and be like, yeah. there you go. Follow the damn target. Oh, are we going to oh, see it? There we are! There it is! Bane! Rush hour two. I love it. That is perfect. Turns out the sequel is going to be better than the original this time around. <laughs> well, we shall see. I mean, Celeb Life this down there in the bottom lane as well. This the is trailer exciting. was great, Max. This is a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, good, good, good. Oh, God, it could fall down. What does Team Ice run into this? They know it's a Thresh Vein lane. They've got themselves a Twitch already, which is going to do well. Um, Blitz you were crank. thinking legit Blitz Blitz strategy. Crank. Yeah, I want Blitzcrank. If you think legit strategy, it's Sona. <laughs> Sona has to be the choice because it's so... You just literally have your, your keyboard guy press all the buttons. He doesn't even need to look at the screen, just press them all. All the buttons. And it's absolutely it's a, fine. It's actually a really good point. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you think you're going to be relying on Xpeka to just mash all those buttons together. Just just go for it. Make it yeah. work. Well, we'll see what happens in these last few picks. I'm not sure how I feel about Nautilus. That one feels oh, like it's yes. straightforward. If we'll Ziv and Mouse are going to be playing Rengar top lane as well, that is super exciting. But now you've got Baby Love theoretically on the Evelyn. Is Clear Love just demanding he pick yes. all his <laughs> big yep. champions? As there is no there little... is no language barrier strong enough to stop Clear Love from playing <laughs> Evelyn pastry time. <laughs> well, let's see what the last pick is for Team Fire. Then looks like they'll need a soul laner of some kind unless Hecarim wants to wander out of the jungle. But we'll find out in just a second. What oh looks to be going top lane. Darius could Never. be really fun, actually. If you, if, if you think about that, there's a relatively like predictable play pattern to matching up the keyboard with the mouse. So that could be an easy win. But good luck timing your ultimate. I just want to see exactly <laughs> how and when that's going to go down and well, exactly on which targets. I feel like with his ultimate, you just get them low and it's then done. just press it as fast as possible. And it's going to be locked in. So we'll now be able to see where the Smeb is going to be able to make it work. I mean, that's so interesting with summoner spells as well, right? Because, you know, you already mentioned that Miss Smiting is kind of a trick. Oh, yeah. Lots of minions die. You could ignite or exhaust the wrong target. I mean, I like Ghost. That one's very easy to use. It is. <laughs> you just have to press it. Uh, I'm going to say Teleport's pretty ambitious from the yeah. mid. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I feel like when you're teleporting, there's not too much. It's not like you mid-team fight teleport for the sick play. Like, that's not really going to happen. Although, it may. 
let, you know, if we have some sort of brain fade on the side of the keyboard user, but if you only have one half to okay. do with, surely it's easier. Gentlemen, Baker is on screen right now. It looks like Pajergason is running the mouse and Faker is running the keyboard. Ooh. How do we expect this duo fizz to go down? I actually think that's a really good idea. Mostly because Faker's timing on dodging things with playful trickster when I've seen him play fizz is utterly exceptional. Yeah, it's kind of interesting to think about it, right? Because, I mean, having a strong mouse hand is very important. I think we had a lot of mixed duos fighting. It made a little more sense to have the Eddie carry on that. But who really knows, to be perfectly honest? You know what we really want from you guys? We want to know what you guys are thinking. So don't forget to vote at LOL Esports with the hashtags Firewind or the hashtags Icewind, because this should be mayhem. It will be mayhem. And this is also the point where we give you a public service announcement. <laughs> As this is a play-by-play-by-play -by -play -by -play cast. By play. By play, cast. Uh, it might be worth turning the volume down on your speakers before <laughs> first blood and then reevaluating as we get into the game because we are going to try and match the volume of the Barcelona crowd. <laughs> oh, they God. are loud. I did not know that we were going to go try and go that loud because these guys are completely out of control. However, it may just happen by accident. I said it on the first few days, the crowd was maybe a third full and the venue was amazing. It's pretty much jam-packed this time around and the crowd has been amazing all week long, but... Let's get ourselves under Summoner's Rift for what should be an awfully fun time as Team Ice and Team Fire do battle again. Right, remember, one person on the mouse, one person on the keyboard. We're looking for the Mad Life play from Celeb Life, the duo. And we're going to see if they can make that one work. Certainly hope so. Right now, all of these players have managed to at least walk out of bases. There's a huge play, so much damage coming in from the five members as Baby Love has to flash like Mamba. Continues above the buff. Flash is blown away. The Miz is looking for more. He's going to shut down. Rush Hour 2 is on the board. Got to get contaminated to death. Team Ice, 4 for 2. And just a casual six kills in a minute. Welcome <laughs> to Tandem Mode, everybody. <laughs> okay, well, it didn't take them long. I thought we might have to pretend to do analysis there, but thankfully we didn't. I'm relatively impressed with the energy uh, here already. Look at that three, four man play. And what's over here? Instantly punches into the back after clear up. Given we've only played for a minute, that's actually pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, it's just chaos. I love it. Certainly is. I'm following Xmedi, so as the fight started, the Spaniards started to run away, and they're like, nope, nope, nope. Decide to re-engage, but I love Riptide. All that, you know, you have to do as expected in that scenario is just wait till you walk in rage and press E. There's no skill required in this setup for that ability. I'm somewhat convinced Nautilus is cheating, actually, as far as picks in <laughs> mode goes. Because that big AOE should be fine. Auto attack resetting with the W, maybe a little trickier. No, uh, that's actually the most fun you can have on the keyboard. I was a keyboard player when we were playing, and uh, look, you just don't have all that much to do unless you can auto, auto attack. But reset. what are you looking at, Atlas, as the keyboard player? You know, how are you making decisions? Take a look at this. Well, you're looking at a kill on the top side of the map. This Miz just ends him. Mouse and Ziv getting some revenge from earlier. Well, mouse, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Three, one, and one. Taking a look at, at the keystones. No real surprises there. Um, maybe a little bit for Kappa on that Cassio. We'll see if the mobility works out. A lot of trading in the bottom lane. And Face Street time, that's a play going in for Celeb Life and support from BB Love. Seems reasonable, but again, from clearly bottom lane. I've never seen this before. <laughs> I assume he's controlling the mouse if they're playing Evelyn, by the way, because he's certainly the one that wants to be making sure he's never being seen. But... Looks like Ice are pushing the lane a little too far. He has snuck in here, but no dice on the gank. Yeah, and Bibi Love as well, I mean, known for being able to press buttons a lot. And when you're playing Evelyn, your ability to press that Q as much as possible <laughs> is so incredibly useful. So, probably good for Clear Love. A, it's like a lifetime Ezreal player. That's perfect. Oh, oh God, look at that Q great. flash there from Ruzi. Still needs to try and survive, though, as the Twitch can't go into ambush just yet. Oh, the trench lane's there! Adorable little contaminator celeb like now has to deal with this. Ruzi still wants more action as Xmithy going in for the gank. It's and amazing. I, and I have to say, not only a great hook from Xmithy, but I just forgot that you have to fly in the right direction, which is yeah. actually kind of impressive with two kind people on the press keyboard. It was so good to see Rick. Oh, no! Like, Celeb Life is caught! Oh, you want it all? The tower. Oh, the the right deck. <laughs> oh, thank goodness they pressed the potion button, and that's more difficult in tandem mode as we've got another gank towards the top side. The Miz trying to jump around. This is actually a pretty good play, but no. The basketball hoop's gonna be set up and the horse takes him down. We can see more of the simplicity from the Hecarim Darius, you know, moving around as Kappa uh -huh. actually trying to slay Baker, but Baker lives for now. Yeah, Kappa running a little low on mana, can't keep spamming those twin fangs. Baker playing with life, no flash available under the tower, and Smeba is gonna try 
push that lane up. Baker's oh, going in. Oh, 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 the oh the my God! The trick oh, God. Baker! Well, I'm going to be the good and I have two hands here. He's <laughs> not going to fight the Miz. The Miz will take one down and there's another for Cutie Prime. The Miz is looking for Cutie Prime, trying to take him out. The Hecarim versus Rengar. Miz is fighting in minions. Savagery is coming up. Battlehorn's available in a oh, second. The Miz does the it! The Miz is awesome! Oh, wow. oh, oh what? Oh, God. You've got to be kidding me! That was exactly what you said, Atlas. Precisely. You can trust Faker for his playful tricks to That's it. I'm quitting on the play-by-play. I'm now an analyst <laughs> for tandem mode. Got well, this. Again, I think Hecarim's got the easy job here because he's literally sitting there mashing the Q <laughs> button and the other guy runs at him. So That's how jungle is this year. Genius yeah. strategy from QT Prime, it looks like. <laughs> Of course, Optimus and QTV. I mean, that is such a good name. QT Prime. Oh, QT Prime's God. pretty good. So good. How, how are they doing at the minute? 17 CS, three kills, got a balmy Cinder already. Um, I want to see how could they use their ultimates because that could be so game changing. The yeah. chaos of an onslaught of shadows into a tandem 10 man team. And this is another one of those cases where you can short arm it. I mean, they've actually got double short armable ultimates here with the Chum the Waters being there as well. I mean, it's just not what you want in tandem mode. It's like, oh, a little guppy fish coming out. <laughs> not the one. Ooh, Taleb Life missing that play. The Rush Hour now getting exhausted. It's Smithy getting in there as Ruzi's firing away. So Life maybe pinned into the wall as Rush Hour 2 is trying to get out of the way. They are going to keep chasing, but it could be danger. Good play back in again, but it's going to be okay. Fantastic play indeed. Jumping back to the top lane. The Miz is now in trouble. QT Prime's trying to run him down. The Miz dashes back onto Spever. 110 HP. Flash. flash forward, and Spever gets it. Beautifully played is now Baker taking a lot of oh damage. Oh my god! The strike comes in with oh, the no. And Kappa's gonna pick it up with a big Kappa in chat. Must have not had the equal down. I could have sworn again that Baker had that 1v1, but Kappa is gonna even the kill score up. Kappa is greater than Faker and Bjergsen. Grabs himself the solo under the tower. It's what happens when you put two players who basically play like one player when they're together anyways. There's a battle on the bottom side. Good hook is going to land, but it's a surprise. Oh my god, Bebe Love in for the double easily. It's going to be Poison that grabs it as Cutie Prime gets one off to the side for fire. And now he's level six, so I really want to see if he's going to convert down for a gank, but nice to use the Evelyn ulti there by Baby Love. Cutie Prime going to look for something down here. Could be problems. Ruzi a little extended in the lane, but I think they've just managed to see what's happening. Where is he going to go camouflage and no tower dive there from Hecarim? Really thought about it though. You can oh, yeah. <laughs> sense the anticipation. At 19 kills by seven minutes, this was the uh, Kappa Love, Kappa Life 1v1. <laughs> and it all starts well, but that E cooldown is just not quite enough. Great flash actually between those two. Is Smurbuck going to get chased down again by the Miz? Just needs to land a skill shot, but that could be the problem. The flash has fallen instead. Q's going to miss. Smurbuck with a dodge. Under the turret, looking for the dunk, but he doesn't have a barely gets away. Will Rengar. Oh, it's amazing <laughs> here in five and a half thousand people. Oh, go, no, Ooh. the Baker gank. He is gonna get out though. Oh no, he's not! Fish him! No, no, don't, need to. You don't even need to shoot. You can you can short on this there one. It's fine. Oh, never mind. No never skill shot. Okay, okay. <laughs> so much damage though from the Miz. Got that phage couple of Dorans. Uh, is there support here for Ruzi? No, not does he yet. Care? No, he does he probably doesn't. This is very, very aggressive though. Backs away. As that camouflage starts to time out. CSing relatively well, actually. 44 CS, couple of fights, couple of trades. They may love actually doing fantastically well from the jungle as well. They've been certainly getting themselves around. Evelyn, no slouch in the farming department. Now has the Rune Geckos completed. Cinderhawk on the side of QT Prime. Okay, now I want we have to judge. Uh, the 10 players' abilities to communicate to make strategic plays. You see this little bit of a dive onto Celeb Life by Kappa. Support comes down from Cutie Prime. Here comes Jack Smithy. That's a defensive onslaught of shadows. Cutie Prime oh, gets oh, great oh. Five backwards. Skill shot connects as well. And Celeb Life tries to play with his life. Will not be enough. Kappa gets another. Ruzi just going off in the back line there as well with the spray and play. Pray, and they will be able to knock down the first turret of the game. Ice right out the gate. Here we go though, Baker with that big long ultimate gonna try and fish somebody if he's been spotted by Baby Love ulti down. Gonna have to use the crab to get away. Urchin strikes off. Oh, oh, in the wrong direction. Oh, the oh, the oh, what an outplay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the ultimate with the slam dunk. I'm gonna
call intentional on the Baker play there, but Smeb looks like they're having a great time. <laughs> such a good time. It is, especially with Smeb saying how bad Rainover was. You know, had no faith in his duo partner, but they managed to Surprise! make it work. Surprise! Take oh, the fight, Bebe So it. much damage. Cutie Prime jumps in there, though. We'll see whether he can get something back. But meanwhile, on the bottom side of the map, Xmedi looking for problems. There's Ruzi now unstoppable as Van goes down to Lev Lev, kiting back away. But Xmedi with these hooks has been on point. Ruzi and Xmedi are going to take over the game. Team Ice playing a true LPL style. <laughs> Gank, repeat, revisit on the bottom lane, and it's built them a 5k gold lead. And destroy that lane as well. I mean, this inner turret now under fire, so we'll see whether they change their sights onto somewhere else. One thing I want to bring your attention to, gentlemen, is the fact that we've got triple camouflage on the side of Team Ice. I'm severely looking for the mega gank where you frighten, like, possibly even, like, eight people at once to not know which buttons to do as three people just fly on top of them. This could be a strategy. Do you think it was planned out? Do you think they went in going, which mechanic will give us the most advantageous scenario in a chaotic 20-player well, game? Look, given the fact that the Evelyn was picked last and we can t say for a fact that it's clear love saying, you better pick me, Evelyn, <laughs> then that's making me lean towards no. <laughs> I just love that they first picked Twitch. Like, Ruzi are like, no, 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 no. Give me the best champion. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else picked for their role on Team Fire, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Ruzi's like, first pick me Twitch now. As Cutie Prime could be in a spot of bother. Rick Smithy again. That's the easy one to land. And Smeb is going to chase down Baby Love. It's going to be trouble here for the Avalon. Pull back from Dari. Looks for a dog. Match the R key. And here we go. Doesn't oh, need it. There it is. He's around for the kill. Yeah, big team fight happening though. Cap is going to fall down. Cutie Prime's going to pick up that kill. The miss. Launches in the back line. Baker gets eviscerated. It is now Celeb Life in a whole host of trouble. Smeb with a triple kill on the back end. The Darius looking good. Misses the Q, but there's the flash. The apprehends there. The passing. Oh! Oh! Six, three, and five, and that could be the team fight that brings Team Fire back into this game. It's just cut the goal down so much, and I cannot state how impressed I am with Smeb and Rainover as far as their play together goes. But Cutie Prime thought he had something good here, got caught by Nautilus. Auto attack to death, they start a fight. Meanwhile, Smeb chases down Babel on the other side, and Ruzi, he tries to open up here with a good man, but a decent fish almost clips him in. It's just too much trouble. It really is, and you know, Team Fire, they just managed to like prioritize the right targets. We talked about communication a little bit earlier, Aaron. How are these guys going to talk to their own player partners, but how are they going to talk to the rest of the team? Not only do you have to play the champion, you now also need to use smart pings correctly. Yeah. Because one guy holds the mouse, one guy pushes the smart ping button, and then you've got to aim it somewhere. Like, that is a, a strategic element we don't talk uh, about. Well, you can see the twins are happy. They this is the thing, when you, put, the quadra kill. <laughs> when you put best friends together, that is so cheating. Because already, you know, you're slightly aligned as far as how you think. Because now, Bebe Love and Cap are going to get jumped on here as Smever immediately. Uh -oh. And Bebe Love, that was an odd... Ultimate. Not the one you're looking for. No. Definitely not. Very good flash though from Kappa. Again, the defensive flash reactions seem to be in sync okay. between these partners. Flash in general has actually been used pretty well, which I was surprised by. Yeah. But it's really a lot of those skill shots and ultimates that are perhaps a little trickier. Other than that though, there's a lot of kills going on and not much else. You have one tower taken somewhere in and amongst all the mess. I'm trying to look at the player cams as much as I can. And there only seems to be happiness in team fights. Because you can see now as uh, the teams have to farm and play around the map a little bit more sedate, but as the teams are coming together, Ice and Fire doing battle around the Sentinel, Smeba trying to clean up from the back, Kappa and Baby Lab, they're in oh. trouble, they've been fished! Massive Giga Shark in the back line, and that is going to be Baker picking up the kill, the Miz. Oh, oh. No, this is not the feeling you want as all the skill shots are landing. W ain't enough as they're able to take it down. Smeba is massive. Really is on the Darius. Seven, three, and six. And maybe looking to break the mid tower open. It's pretty difficult for these two champions to defend anyway. But they are going to go in for the dive. Xmitty could be a trouble. Celeb Life, that's not the right way. Pops the ulti down. But Ruzi opening fire on the back lines, forces them away. Celeb Life getting away with his uh, death, unfortunately. Woo! Here comes QT Prime. Onslaught from the sideline. Splits up Team Ice. And Fire get themselves one back. It's a trade one for one. And now Team Ice are to defend their tower. Luckily, Team Fire don't press any further. That was my absolute all-time favorite condemn I have ever seen. It was a vein making it into range of a Twitch and saying, no, get away from me. <laughs> this is his move, his entire move. Absolutely fantastic, but picks up a kill for himself. We can see Baker, that farming brain. 
Making sure to go top lane to push that out. Ruzi's got one. It's Smerva. Gonna have to run himself away. He's worth a decent amount of gold, so they might want to chase for it. They've got the flash. The oh, flash yeah. is down. That's synergy. That's right the there. mechanics right there. Uzi and Reckless, if anyone can do it, it's these two, and they're not stopping now. Atlas, it's your camouflage play, potentially. The Miz gonna get support from Ruzi. They're jumping onto Baker, and it's the cookies they want. Can he turn it around, though? Urchin Strike does come in, as Baker's just gonna get contaminated and taken down. Good hook onto Kappa as the exhaust comes in as well. My asthma's down. Looking decent for Kappa. I don't think he can get away. He's cutting as best he can. Really wow. nice working from Kappa. Almost gets it, but Cutie Prime will get the kill. Down in the bottom lane, BB Love as well as Zach Smithy double team to get themselves a kill onto Rush Hour, and it's 21 kills to 19. Tower is under pressure in the mid lane, and The Miz is going to shove that tower in the top lane. It's still a 3,000 gold game. 40 kills in 14 minutes, gentlemen. Hero was thinking that three play by plays might be too much, but that is a complete lie. Might not be enough. I sincerely <laughs> hope. I sincerely hope this game does not count towards 20 players' professional stats careers. <laughs> I hope it because does. Because this is going to... <laughs> That's why Bank is not playing, you know. This is going to destroy averages. Gentlemen, Smeba, he's looking for blood. He's looking for it again. Smeba does have the flash up, I believe. Yes. But Camouflage Rengar is going to get away from that one. Cutie Prime was up there as well, but didn't pop the ghost button, so won't make it in time. And he'll go back to his favorite place, the top lane, as Ruzi just continually stealthing here in mid lane or camouflaging, trying to see if he can't pick someone off. Just waiting for it. the opportune moment. Is it tower dive? Possibly. That's not be used to that one. There's four up here. Onslaught of Shadows comes in but doesn't get the fear. In fact, it's a fantastic W timing as the Miz is able to it, make it out. And while that's happening, gentlemen, mid tower and upper top tower gonna fall respectively. Two to one. In that gold difference. Ruzi trying to hide. Looks for Rush oh, Hour no, 2. No. Throws down the spray and pay. Rush Hour 2 is down. It's BB Lab that gets the kill. It's actually condemned though. Yeah, very nice, but not enough. And the Lantern was just barely not there in time. So Solelo had the right angle this time on the Lantern. Hooks have been a little hit or miss. I guess that's the live portion of them throwing those one out. Or maybe <laughs> just trying to predict a flash. Now, I must, I must admit, considering the amount of pressure that Team Ice has in the bottom lane, I'm severely disappointed it's taken them this long to start dragging. Right? They yeah. had ample opportunity in it. Oh, oh, oh. Hand under the Miz. He's Go through. so much damage in there from Smeber, and he'll just bring it down. Smeber has thought too much about this game mode, I think. Darius yeah, is man. quite good by the looks of things. It's amazing when you look at all the champions that you can just spam sort of one or two abilities, like, for example, Kappa lining up Twin Fangs, trying uh -oh. to shut down Cutie Prime. <laughs> that miasma wasn't great, nor was the petrifying gaze. Cutie Prime's going to take <laughs> the lantern to safety. <laughs> That's what it feels like, doesn't it? <laughs> Just ridiculous, but Baker now looking for his opportunity to get in. Control Ward spots him out. There's Kappa. Fish. Oh, fish, it, fish it. No vision, so it looks like he doesn't quite know where to throw it. And Rush Hour 2 instead is going to get some farming happening. Well, I would have expected the brain powers of Fake and Bjergsen to figure that one out. Unfortunately, not the case. Still pressure, though, coming from the bottom. And oh, like oh, oh. Baker's not following up. Yeah, Fish is going to go a little bit short as Playful Tricks it does get him out. Good Urchin Strike there as well for the disengage for Team Fire. Yeah, as Baker has it down. Celeb like, oh, oh land. See you later, buddy. That's going to be it. I still don't quite understand how Ice got away with that because it looked like Fire had ample opportunity to dive. Nice little. <laughs> Might have been a from the miscommunication, upland. even. Who oh, knows? No. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> this tower is going to go down. Secondary objective starting to fall now. 3 1 up in turrets for Team Ice. That Drake still left alone, unfortunately for him, but maybe they'll wander down and try and take it. Unfortunately, for a chaotic mode like this, Ocean's maybe not that exciting. Can we quickly revisit the discussion of language and who's going to be doing well? So, what proves the theory? X Smithy, two Spaniards, they're currently doing pretty well. Smeb and Rainover. Best friends Smeba. and native Korean exactly. speakers. Exactly, they're doing pretty well. The only ones that are letting that sort of theory down right now oh dear. is current double of NAF from yeah. Rush Hour 2. Uh, 261, but you could argue that's because of their opponents, not because of their own, you know, inability to communicate. You know, Rush Hour, Ruzi, and X Smithy, they're just Goomba stomping Rush Hour. Well, that's the thing. Reckless and Ruzi, different languages, and they're doing super well. 131, 8, 1, and 9 right now. Disgusting. I don't know. Line. This just sounds like excuses. Rush Hour 2 <laughs> managed to beat Ruzi yesterday, and NA should clearly be able to beat EU, so. Not sure what's happening there, yeah, but certainly a good bias. looking for the Twitch. <laughs> There's oh. nothing else, and there's the flash over. See you later, oh. Baker! Oh, the terrified fish. Look at that, it's just a regular shark, not a Giglodon or a Guppy, but unfortunately, it's gone the wrong direction. By their powers combined, 
It there. goes negative. <laughs> it does not add. It's not multiplicative in this scenario. Oh, I see. So, ah, <laughs> so this is what happens when two fakers finally collide. <laughs> it goes negative. An unstoppable force meets an immovable object, and nothing, nobody wins, apparently. Yep. Three, six, five, less than 100 CS in 20 minutes. I don't think Bjergsen or Faker have <laughs> ever done that. They're waiting ever. for their late game power spike, Trevor. You just, just calm down. It's absolutely fine. 5,000 gold is now currently the lead for ice. So we should just think about that. You know, once at least we're happy. I agree. <laughs> if they get Lich Bane, it'll be pretty easy to do stuff. You just have to click <laughs> on people and they'll but die. At five CS events, right. they'll take forever. Cutie Pie, Prime rather, is going to go down. Next target is Rush Hour 2. Okay. Tries to tumble away. Twin Fangs being spat out to Team Ice. They're trying to run down fire. Gap Charge is in there. It's going to knock oh, one up. There's two. Oh, Rush Hour. Oh, Way too easy. easy. Mevis hooked again. And Smithy really making the plays today. Oh, oh, no. Life with the save. Just beautiful <laughs> stuff. And even able to use the blast cone to get out. They're uh, just showing off. Oh, the oh. He's found his way into the back line. Box comes in. Celeb Life flashes himself out there as well. Ruzi. Oh, oh. might make up for it. Smeb is going to die. <laughs> Somehow Smeb got caught out after the extended chase. I just want to say that that was the first Agony's embrace that I think I've seen land. So Bebe Love really getting their eye in here as inhibitor turret. Now going to be taken down by Team Ice, unless Cutie Prime can do something about it. Doesn't have enough by the looks of things, and that will break open. Can they get the inhib, though? Maybe the follow-up question. By the looks of things so far, respawns it's still a little low. So it's going to be not, no, yeah, no such luck for now. 48 kills. It does that to me, too. <laughs> <laughs> Even in EU, we haven't had that many chaotic, crazy games. We're quite famous for that. All right. Well, even in the LPL. Yeah, touche, touche. <laughs> I think you take the crown for that one oh. in this trio. Um, Atlas, you want to break down this play because... Well, um, that was a petrifying gaze that landed, which is absolutely incredible. Rush Hour 2 now trying to kite around. It's a better condemn than normal, but now it's the depth charge that was delivered to the vein. It just didn't quite work out there for Rush Hour 2. This land was very, very good. It came through from Celeb Life, but there's only so much you can do with the sick blanking Twitch that you can see on your minimap. And this death sentence would have been so amazing if it had, had found Ruzi. <laughs> Unfortunately, double lift and Afro move not bringing uh, the pain. Uh, it appears sequels sometimes are worse yeah, than the original. Auto space sometimes, Trevor! Right. Charge is maybe not great as Cutie Prime. Gonna take the Lantern out to safety, but again, that Twitch, pretty strong champion. Rune Tower can't, and the ultimate makes it relatively straightforward to get stuff done. And uh, seems to be pretty good here in tandem mode. BB Love has got a majize. Of course he does. This is fantastic. And a proto belt. Oh my god, absolutely amazing. And the proto belt's there purely because whoever's on the, the keyboard wants really wants button. to be doing more than just pressing Q constantly. All right, Smeba so tried to pull this wave. Um, Unfortunately, has pulled all of Team Ice. They're going to look to run him down. Support slowly coming from base. Oh, look at that jump from the Miz. That's another one. Savage oh, into the bowler strike. The oh, flash. Lesson. Celeb life saves Smeba. There it is. The hook. Not going to find the minion or even the Ruzi. Who was looking to come in. Nice slow comes down from the cast, but not going to find too much. And at this point, do not anger the Ruzi as Cutie Prize being caught by the depth. Oh. That'll be easy clean up for the Evelyn Q, and you can see Rush Hour 2. They did get a turret down the bottom lane. It seems like you can't, you may be able to take double lift out of CLG, but you can't get him out of the sidelines <laughs> his team is losing. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot, gentlemen. It looks like Baron has been started, but this one is likely to be uncontested. Oh, the background. I think that's on. the most important part is the Have a good time to fake it. Can he steal it? He's going to try it. No, not this time. It won't even go in for the dive, actually. Well, that was disappointing. I had, uh, I thought, <laughs> no. no. We're going to try, jump in six for that. Minutes, six minutes, don't worry, it's fine. Just reset, reset for the next one. Exit kills, perhaps. I don't think they're going to find anyone, though. Ruzi just kind of stalking around, hoping you can pick someone off, but I think we'll be okay. Very inspired choice, playing the Twitch uh, in tandem mode, if you're going to try tandem mode at home, because right-clicking is the name of the game. You yeah. use Q to position for right-clicking. You use W just before you start right-clicking. And E and R are helpful with right clicking. <laughs> so just they, keep right clicking. There we go. Uh oh. oh Smeba on the hunt. It's Uzi. Oh my goodness. Smeba jumps on top of him. This is going to be difficult. Agony Doug, the race comes Doug, down. Doug, oh, the dog Doug, isn't Doug, enough. They have the oh! And the passive don't know. Ruzi's able to do it. Use the life steal. Picks up the extra health. Oh! 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 Does get the oh, condemn. The really cute final hour as the fish is in. He's He's doing it. Rush out to still alive. It's expensive. 
Good flash though, the hook's not gonna land, but they're gonna chase him for it. Needs to line up another condemn, but in the meantime, Cutie Prime's going down. Baker, who's oh, gonna chase another there. down, but the Miz is going to fall. They did get the kill under the turret, though. Rush Hour 2, starting to make us believe. That was sick. We need to see a replay of that flash uh, over the Krug wall to pick up the kill. If Rush Hour 2 and Bloodlust uh, can oh, get away from that one, that's a pin! They got him against the wall! The condemn was fantastic, but can he now escape as Kappa trying to run underneath this turret? Baker is in there. Beautiful. Oh, no! Oh! Baker's gonna fall down, but so does all of Team Ice. He needed the kill though. Lich Bane, that's what uh, Pastry Time is looking for in oh, the yeah. play. Well, this all starts in a very silly way. So maybe I try something here, but gets his way cut it out. But you can see the rest of the team starting to come down to the engagement. Yeah, look at the mini map. Team Fire are swarming. Condemn, tumble on the hunt. And that was just, just so well executed. This was good too. That, that crowd gets in Xmithy's way, and they just kite it out. Then Baker in for the safe, so low left covering as well. And Xmithy just can't do anything. I just love the fact there's so much AoE that you can get to farm the Krugs. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that Double and Rush Hour 2 tumbled right on top of the model of the Nautilus so they didn't get hit by the Riptide damage, which could have actually killed them. There were so many things that would have been really, really hard to do if they were just one human. That was ridiculous. Two heads are better than one, gentlemen. I think we've discovered it. Certainly can be, but the Lich Bane is up now for Baker as the Miz trying to run away from Never. No flash here to follow. It's Kappa. Oh. You know, turn around. Petrifying gaze. Not so stunning that time as the Miz looks for the E, but it's duked out by Smever. Still getting Point chased it. down, but I think he's going to get slowed. Rush out 2 trying to do something. Here he yeah, comes. It's the final arrow as the Miz is going to get knocked into the wall. That's another kill as Kappa could get chased down. Remember, there's no ultimate, but I don't know whether he knows that. Final arrow comes in. Another miss there on the odd Miz. Baby Love's able to get it. Just too many buttons to press. A new challenger appears. Bebe Love is life for Team Ice, and they shut down Rush Hour 2. It ends up being a one-for-one -one trade. But now, all of a sudden, Team Ice, they're being collapsed on. There's support from Ruzi and the Rumba. Yeah, he's just going to go down. So Lev Life trying to fight him. But Cap is dead to Baker. So much damage on the other end. Ruzi, though, starting to open up. Gets a double there for the Evelyn. Cutie Prime trying something as Baker does dodge the next hook. Kick Smithy looking to chase his way down. But the Depth Charge will follow in onto Baker. Cutie Prime may be away, but Baker, can he get out? The Urchin strikes. Let's see whether he can get any more. As Bebe Love, he's just cleaning up everyone. That's going to be the ace as Ruzi locks it down. 38 kills to 27 in 26 minutes. <laughs> it's been a great time right. so far. I'm, I'm, Atlas you know, is overwhelmed with happiness. It's phenomenal how well these guys can sh can handle one champion. You know, when, when they're split. I mean, it is actually ridiculous. Rush Hour 2, this is not the first time that they've done this particular matchup. Uh, Nor is it the last. Rush Hour 3, I think, was the thing as well. <laughs> We'll have to find out if they get voted in again next year. Because, of course, uh, uh, Double Lift, he's no longer a pro, he retired. Yeah. Dream as the NA casters keep pointing out. <laughs> well, now he's dead. Right, well, there oh, we go. God. I'm sure he feels great about that. That was Orban. How did that even happen? Was that just a Proto Belt uh, ult look. combo? <laughs> Again, talking about champions that are relatively <laughs> easy to execute. Majai's Lich Bane Pro to work. 25 pretty straight forward. as well. That's just insane. Oh, it is mind boggling. The oh, is oh, 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 side oh, step, back though. into the gig. Shut down, though. QT Prime gets the kill. Kappa was able to stun up too. Ruzi is throwing oh, down. No. The death sentence connects. They're all piling on top of him. This snake lady not having a great time. Good Q flash from Celeb Life. Yeah, trying to get out of What is that damage? from Ruzi as they all just get sliced in half. I don't think it's over yet. Ruzi's trying to find Celeb Life, unable to do so. The inhibitors, the targets, they're going to look for the Nexus turrets, but Rush Hour 2 and Celeb Life are going to try stand in the way. It is a 10,000 gold lead for Team Ice and those 50 points. Oh, looks <laughs> Are looking juicy. That's dangerous. Good hook back in. Ruzi trying to turn it around, but Rush Hour, oh what my the God. There's the crit, there's the silver ball. That'll be a kill. Shut down with the level. Rush Hour 2 still cutting oh, around. Break is out. He might what just do it. Needs a few more. Oh. going to go down. Oh. The fail flash. Unfortunate, but the mechanics out of double lift and Afro move. I feel like we've got to Rush Hour 3 already, gentlemen. That was amazing. It looked like Ruzi had it in the bag, but Rush Hour 2 just Is connects. This where this fight started. That synergy again, cross language play, pushing the opponent onto the ultis. And, I mean, literally, so many skill shots here actually connect. Uh, Stacks on, I, I believe, is what you call this particular team fight strategy. It works indeed. Ruzi was able to just get so many targets the whole time. But it was really Rush Hour cleaning up on the back end. I mean, you can see what <laughs> mouse control is like, especially 
just how many presses are going through there, because they're playing oh, yeah. spectacularly on the Twitch. But I feel like they're starting to get a bit of momentum, kind of feel it out rush hour too. And these Eddie carries looking to maybe go off as QD Prime and the Mizzle hunt each other down, but the Miz will pop the ulti and run away for now. Yeah, there's a mini wave to be collected here as the Miz is easily able to destroy that one. Full damage Rengar build. I like it a lot as Baker and QT Prime. This is not what the Miz oh, is the is gonna land. He's gonna get knocked up and yeah, Chum the Waters hitting spells death for the kitty cat. I guess you could use uh, a fishing pole to go fishing for a kitty cat. It's <laughs> <laughs> obvious you already had the fish on it, you know? Exactly. Well, oh, Baker no. looks like he's in trouble now. Support from Cutie Prime. This Baker goes down. Ruzi gets another solo. No help from the Oh, my God, God the they're fighting. Team Ice just collapsed. And back to 25 stacks for BB Lab. I was going to say, I've kind of watched this a little closer. I'm like, I know what's going on here. It's very chaotic. The team fights are really messy. Baby Love is demanding to get in the middle of the team fight and just yeah. mashing Q as many times as possible. Q and whatever button he's got the proto belt assigned to, because that Evelyn just seems to be launching herself into every fight possible. It's a worthwhile strategy here for this game mode. Starting to break down a lot of these turrets here as well, as that's another one going to go down. That rush out to it, thinking about a flank, but not so epic on the vein, so they'll actually give it up for now. And we'll see if they push it and try and end the game here, because these turrets are. It's going to be pretty hard to defend. Baker's back up in five, a few oh! seconds. Oh! Going to miss that next hook. But they are going to go in for it. This could be it. It looks like it could be. Baker's looking for the final fight. Cutie Prime, no onslaught. Doesn't even need it. Just rampages down. X Smithy, five on fours. Here comes Smeber. No ghost available. Flash forward. Oh, short on short. Not going to connect. Decent enough. Oh, oh no, Gabba, That is not what you want. It is in goes Baby Love in the miss. Look at all this damage. Baby Love around the back line of this fight. Ruzi, amazing flash out of the playful trickster and is now able to clean up. The Twitch gets a triple. Could this be the Quadra? Ruzi grabs it. Four kills now for Team Ice and this will be the end of the game. That's absolutely going to be it. Team Ice will be able to win this game, knocking down the last few turrets. Death time is far too long for this one and it was chaos, it was mayhem, but Team Ice come out on top in the end. 86 kills in 30 minutes. If we wanted anything from tandem mode, it was most certainly that. And my god, I could watch Reckless and Uzi play Twitch all the time. Absolutely 42,000 damage to champions is what Ruzi did combined. What phenomenal performance from the two of them. But it was an inspired champion choice. You know, yeah. it works. You can share the responsibilities of keyboard and mouse on a champion like Twitch. And it's exactly what Reckless and Uzi did. And a big part of the reason they came out on top. Multiple G